So this next step that we're going to um, look at and start working on is adding color to your cross contour drawings. Uh, just to, first of all, emphasize the form a little bit more through the way that we're painting. Um, and then to add a little bit to uh, just the color and bring it to life a little bit further. Uh, so to start out, I'm working in the shadows and the shadow areas are where I'm going to add the darkest paint or the most saturated paint. Uh, so I'm not using as much water uh, in this area. So I'm just layering uh, the red color here in those shadow areas. And then I'm going to start um, and jump to the medium values and I'll put a little bit more water mixed with it as I'm adding and painting with the red. Uh, and then I'm going to try to leave all the highlight areas white. So that way you're able to create the form through having highlights shadows, and then the medium value. So that's the most important thing to create dimension in your drawings, um, which again we did when we were shading with the cross contour and having those lines closer together for the shadows and overlapping more, but this is just helping to emphasize it. So here in the uh, video you can see that I'm going back over those darker areas and the darkest spots uh, with even more paint. So I'm just trying to layer it thicker and thicker in the darkest areas of the apple. So you can see around the bottom of the apple, here's the darkest and the outside right um, as well as the left. And now in the video, I'm going into the medium values and I'm going to try to um, make this a little bit less dark by adding more water. So I made it almost the same as the shadow. So right away, I'm trying to go in and add more, um, more water to it. So I'm just going to mix this around and almost fill in the entire um, medium value area, so areas that aren't highlights and areas that aren't shadow, uh, with the light uh, red color. So not as dark as the shadows as you're filling those in. And try to leave the highlights alone. So you want those highlights to be completely white on your page. Alright, so now once I have this medium value filled in, I'm going to go back over uh, the drawing and just try to emphasize some of the directional lines. So I'm going to try to follow the curve and the form of the apple to help uh, just, again, emphasize that dimension. So it's going to help it to look a little bit more three-dimensional by having that form. So you can see uh, in this drawing on the right side how I followed or continued some of those lines that I previously drew and just went over them really lightly with the paint. Uh, but before I do that, I'm jumping into the shadow here and getting that filled in as well. So I'm going along uh, closest to the object in the shadow is usually going to be the darkest, and then it fades out from there. So I'm just going over and making the uh, inside the darkest and trying to fade that color out slightly as we get towards the outside of the shadow. And here I'm just touching up a few areas, and now I'm painting back in with the directional lines with the paint. So this just helps to blend and fade the shadow area and transition it more into the rest of the apple, so into the areas with the medium color and medium value. So that's important again to try to focus on making shadows dark, highlights should stay white, and the rest is a medium value with your paint. Um, feel free to use any colors that you want. Maybe you want to do more than one color. So Maybe uh, the background of this picture, I could have painted a green, or I could have brought in a green color for the stem, or maybe some uh, orange mixed with the red on the apple. So be creative with the color that you're painting. Uh, but again, just focus on layering things and making those shadows the darkest part of your picture. 